Hello to my viewers. Today's topic is about rational algebraic expressions. This maths is intended for grade 8. I have here two fractions with the variables. So number 1, 81x z cubed over 36y is divided by 27x squared z squared over 12xy. So our task for number 1, we need to find the quotient. So I need to write the first fraction. 81x z cube over 36y. So take note, division of fraction, this operation will be changed to multiplication and then upside down of the fraction. So this will be our new numerator, 12xy. And then this will become our denominator, 27x squared z squared okay so let us reduce this one by dividing this one by 27 this is 1 81 divided by 27 is 3 and then 36 divided by 12 this is 3 12 divided by 12 is 1 and then we have 3 divided by 3 is 1 so how about the variables? x squared, x cross out, x also, x times x, that will be x squared, so this will be cross out. How about z squared? z squared will be cross out and then we leave one z or z. This will be cross out. So what remains in the numerator? So only z then how about in the denominator so one so therefore the answer for number one our quotient is z now let's move to number two number two is 2a plus 2b over a squared plus ab is divided by 4 over a. For the numerator, we can factor this one. There is a common. Common will be 2, and then this will be a plus b. So if we distribute this one, we will come up with the numerator. So this will be 2a plus 2b. How about the denominator? So common is a, a plus b. Okay? So what I said, if the operation is division, we have to change it one to multiplication, then reciprocal of this 4 over a. So this will be a over 4. So this one is the same with the denominator, so cross out. This one also with a. And then how about 2 and 4? We can reduce this one by dividing by 2, this is 1. And then divide by 2, this is 2. So the answer for number 2 is 1 over 2. So that's number 2. The answer is 1 over 2. Let's proceed to number 3. Number 3 is 16x squared minus 9. Number 3, 16x squared minus 9 over 6 minus 5x minus 4x squared is divided by 16x squared plus 24x plus 9 over 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. Okay, for the first fraction, I have here 16 x squared minus 9, so this will be a difference of 2 squares. So I can write this one as 4 x raised to the power of 2, and then square root of 9, this will be 3 squared. Then I need to arrange this one because this is not properly arranged. 
So I will start with negative 4x squared followed by 5x and then plus 6. As what I said, if there is division operation for this fraction, so I need to change to multiplication and then take the reciprocal. So the denominator will become a numerator. So this will be 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. And then this will be our denominator. So 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. So, difference of two squares. So, let us recall our formula. A squared minus B squared. Okay, so this will be factors are A plus B and then A minus B. So, in here, I have my A, 4X, and then B is 3. So, I can write in here 4X plus 3 and then 4X minus 3. Okay, so I have to write in here, so this will be 4x plus 3 and then 4x minus 3. I need to factor the negative sign of the first term because it's rear for the first term having a negative sign. So this will be negative. If I will factor the negative sign, so all the terms will change the sign. So this will be positive 4x squared, this will be plus 5x, and then change this one to negative. Then copy the second fraction, 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. Now how to factor the denominator? The numerator cannot be factored because that's impossible. 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. So it will remain at least this one. I need to factor 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. So I will try. This will be 4x. Then plus 3. Then 4x plus 3. Let us check. So this will be 3 times 4x. That will be 12x. Then this one, 12x. So 12x plus 12x, that is equal to 24x. So this is correct. Okay, so this one will be cross out. Oh, sorry, this can be factor this one. Let us factor the denominator of the first fraction. So I'll need to copy 4x plus 3 and then 4x minus 3. How about the denominator? So 4x squared. So this will be, I will try this one, 4x minus 3 and then x plus 2. Okay, I will check. Okay, this will be negative 3x. This one, 8x, positive 8x. So take note, the middle term is 5x. So 3x plus 5, 8x, that will be positive 5x. So this is correct. And we know that negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So the factors of 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 are... 4x minus 3 and x plus 2. Then, copy this one. 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. Then, copy the factors. So, 4x plus 3 and then 4x plus 3. Okay, this one will be crossed out. This one also, 4x minus 3. And then, what else? So, for the numerator, I have here 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. And then, how about denominator? The denominator are x plus 2 
and then 4x plus 3. Take note, don't forget to write the negative sign. So let us multiply the two factors in the denominator. So x plus 2, then 4x plus 3. So this will be 4x squared. This one is plus 8x, 3x, then 3 times 2 is 6. So bring down 4x squared. This one will be 11x plus 6. So they are the same. So this will be negative 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. The denominator will be 4x squared plus 11x plus 6. So they are the same. So this will be cross out. So the answer for number 3 is negative 1. Now let's proceed to number 4. Number 4 is x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 3 is divided by x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so this is very, very easy for the numerator. So the factors are x plus 1 and then x plus 1. How about for the denominator of the first fraction? This, this will be x plus 3 and then x plus 1. How do I know that this is the correct factor? So just multiply this one, 3x. Take note the middle term is 4x. And then this one, x times 1 is x. So this is 4x. So my denominator for the first fraction is correct. Then I need to change the operation to multiplication and then upside down. So this will be x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then x squared minus 1. So this one will be crossed out. So I have here x plus 1 over x plus 3 times factors x plus 1 and then x plus 1. How about this one? This is difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared. So I have a plus b and then a minus b. So this will be x plus 1 and then x minus 1. So the same, cross out. So what is left in the numerator? So this will be x plus 1, then x plus 1. Then how about in the denominator? Denominator will be x plus 3, and then x minus 1. So my final answer for number 4, I need to multiply the factors. So this will be x plus 1, x plus 1. So this will be x squared. And then plus x plus x plus 1. So this will be x squared plus 2x plus 1. So this will be my numerator is x squared plus 2x plus 1. How about the denominator? So x plus 3. Then x minus 1. So this will be x squared plus 3x minus x minus 3 so this will be x squared plus 2x minus 3 so this will be x squared plus 2x minus 3 so my answer for number 4 is x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3 now let's proceed to number 5 and number 5 will be the last number Number 5 is x minus 1 over x plus 1 is divided by 1 minus x over x squared plus 2x plus 1. So I need to copy the first fraction, x minus 1 over x plus 1. Then need to change the operation to multiplication and then reciprocal. 
This will be x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then I need to arrange this one. This is not properly arranged. Negative x plus 1. So, copy again. x minus 1, x plus 1. Then factor this one. x squared will be x plus 1, x plus 1. Factor the negative sign, so this will be, take note, if we factor the negative sign outside, this will become positive, and then this is negative. So, positive x, and then this is negative 1. So, cross out. Then this will be cross out. So, the answer for number 5 is negative. Round brackets x plus 1. That's all for this topic.